Scientists are investigating the past in the hope of giving people some warning before the imminent mega disaster. Scattered across the New Madrid zone, there are scars of past seismic eruptions. Sand blows that formed during the 1811-1812 quakes still dot the landscape and make it difficult to grow a solid field of cotton. The sand blows are very common, especially in the heart of the New Madrid seismic zone, close to the New Madrid faults. Paleo seismologist Marticia Tuttle digs into sand blows, searching for clues as to the frequency of the past quakes. I started working in the New Madrid seismic zone in 1992, and at the time the conventional wisdom was that no prior New Madrid events had occurred for 10,000 years. Today, Professor Tuttle joins archaeologist Marion Haynes to excavate a trench in the middle of a cotton field. Digging into the soil, they uncover a very large sand blow. The sand blow starts here. It's thin. It's getting thicker. The buried soil is about four feet deep. Here's another beautiful vent area. The sand blow's thinning, and it ends about there. This sand blow is more than 63 feet wide on the surface. The exact magnitude of the 1811-1812 events is debatable, but the effects that it had in the New Madrid seismic zone are irrefutable. And come to the field and see the, the, the ground failure that occurred, the sand blows that formed, and you'll see that these were no small events. This would be the plow zone, and that's an agricultural horizon resulting from plowing of the fields. This sand blow formed in 1811-1812 because there's essentially no soil left above it. The plowing of the fields has destroyed what little soil had developed. And it takes time to develop a soil. Professor Tuttle suspects there may be deeper prehistoric sand blows that may hold evidence of earlier quakes. To locate older sites, she brings in a ground-penetrating radar specialist. After roping off a grid, Jamie drags the radar antenna over the ground. The radar measures soil resistance and produces this image of the subterranean world. Professor Tuttle suspects these white areas are sand blows. Excavating at this site, she finds a very unusual pattern in this sand blow. Soil with Native American artifacts, a layer known as an occupation horizon. 